Few things take more abuse than crash test dummies. It's bad enough the strange looks they get for wearing all that yellow. And of course, they just take a beating to make sure that we're all safer in our cars. But automobile safety has evolved through the years. And here at the Henry Ford, they have the car where modern safety began. When the auto industry started over 100 years ago, it's safe to say safety wasn't the primary development concern. But as more people began buying and driving cars, accidents and injuries started to rise. It really didn't start to become a serious concern until the 1950s. We now have interstate highways, people are moving faster, the cars are getting bigger, and things are just getting a little more dangerous on the road. The Henry Ford's curator of transportation, Matt Anderson, showed me the first car designed and built specifically to inspire automakers to think more about saving lives. From this vantage point, this looks pretty much like an ordinary automobile. It looks pretty ordinary, but it's actually a special concept car with more than 60 different innovations designed to keep people safe in the event of an accident. What is it called? It's a... It is the safety car. It was a product of five years of research at Cornell University. What is a safety car? A safety car is designed almost like a carton for eggs, thinking of trying to keep the passengers, the eggs in this case, as safe as possible in the event of an accident. So it surrounds them with as much metal, as much steel, seat belts, things like that. Well, I notice that the door is unusual. This is a giveaway that this is not a regular car when, when you think about it, right? Yeah, this is an accordion type door, which gives you lots of uh, space to get in and out of the vehicle into those unusual seats. But it also makes you safer in the event of a crash. As it closes, it can lock in three different places, in the front, in the middle, and the back, instead of in just one or two places like a standard car door. The safety car was not sold to the public. Instead, it was shown to major automakers to encourage them to incorporate its innovations into their future car models. Some ideas were better than others. Other things that are unusual on this car, you see the wraparound bumpers. I mean, we see bumpers that wrap around the fenders now, but not along the whole side of the car like you see here. Other design features include a driver's seat in the middle, head netting to prevent whiplash, and how about a windshield so big you needed five wipers just to keep it clean? The windshield, it's wraparound. It is, to give you the most panoramic view possible when you're driving in that center seat. The safety car has many innovations, but one thing, well, seems missing. If you look at the dash there, you notice there's no steering wheel on this car. Steering wheels can be very dangerous in a crash, so in this car, instead, you steer with those two handlebars, almost like steering a sled. This is an innovation that never caught on. No, uh, we're, we're married to our steering wheels. They are a little safer now. At least the columns collapse in the event of a crash. And this is a backward-facing seat. Yeah, this is really unusual. And this is designed for children or small passengers to keep them safer. And that indeed is the law now with infants, right? Right. Car seats, they have to face backward. Exactly. So if you're hit in a front-end crash, rather than the child being thrown forward, they're thrown into the seat and made a little bit safer. Seatbelt release. Yeah, this is uh, something that was catching on at the time this car was built in 1956. Seat belts in this vehicle, they pull around you to hold you firm in your seat. They also retract out of the way, so they're not flapping around if the seat's empty. There's a, something a little bit Star Trek looking about this a driver's seat area. It's very sci-fi, and I think that was part of the designer's intent. You know, let's make this car look futuristic because in their minds, safety was the future. Lucky for us, the safety car spawned standard equipment found in today's cars, like bucket seats headrests, and seat belts. But something even more important, a little peace of mind. 